Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Ween, and I am very grateful to the Children's Book Committee of Bank Street for having granted Rose Under Fire this award. And I thought that I would share with you, since I can't be with you, some of the artifacts that you wouldn't actually get to see if I was actually there in person. So I'm sitting here in my dining room. It is World Book Day in the UK. We celebrate in the beginning of March instead of in April because of school holiday clashes and the clash with St. George's Day in the UK. And in addition to being World Book Day, it's also Women in Aviation Worldwide Week. I'm in my sort of aviator mode because here in the UK, one of the things that kids do on World Book Day is they usually go to school dressed up as their favorite book characters. One of the things that I thought I'd share with you actually is um, one of the unwritten poems from Rose Under Fire. Uh, rather the unpublished poems. I wrote many of the poems for Rose Under Fire while I was visiting Ravensbrück in Germany, north of Berlin, in the summer of 2012. And some of them I did reject. The one I'm going to read to you now is called Bread Making. Hunger's the Agent. For your starving soul, I'll mix a scant batch of sour words, last year's stale meter, then let the poem rise in the warm bowl of my head. Hunger's like yeast. I'll knead the awkward lines, longing to find them smooth and silky. But all the grist I have to fill this tired mix of words is coarsely ground, eked out with grit. A baker works with what she's got. Ingredients are scarce, and I, too, need to eat. Not food for thought, but thought for food. The poem's air. I want the solid crust. The epigraph to Rose Under Fire, the poem to a young poet by Edna St. Vincent Millay, I actually quoted on my yearbook page when I graduated from high school in 1982. And it's just down here to a young poet. And this is me um, sitting in the lower school library at my own school. I was a huge fan of...